So in these meetings I um, I invite because to, to know this in the deepest core of our being is is one thing and to bring that into our everyday living of every moment of continuous change of weather <laughs> and this old habit of what we've inherited through the human experience down through thousands of years of conditionings we have inherited this belief system that has really deeply ingrained in it the belief in separation the belief in a separate I and a whole world that is happening to this I which is the root cause of all suffering and war and all the mess that's taking place on our planet Wow. That wave of recognition that moves through you, moves through me. Mm. So how do we bring what we are knowing, what we are recognizing, what we deeply know in the core of being into this leftover mess which has been created through lies, through belief systems that continue to play out as overleft patterns inherited in our in our very DNA in our in the makeup of our cells it's inherited and continues to play out as patterns of conditions that keep us in in a search for truth, for liberation to know what is this really, what is this really, this why to be incarnated in a human form, what is this really, who am I, what I'm doing here, what for, what for each day that I spend my energy, what for do I give my attention to, what for, who am I in a moment death will come, every moment death is on the table death in your life, you're being asked all the time to give up what you hold on to, what you cling to, what you try to control you're being asked all the time to give it up this is death death is calling us every moment and it is the practice for the death of the body which is no secret, will be the last experience mm -hmm. Who knows? Uh, but it will be for the body. So what are we doing here? What are we living? What are we giving our life to every day, every moment? What is it? What is it all for? You know? And unless we reach this moment to come to in ourself where we ask that question, unless we come to that in ourself and really ask that question and really look at whether what we give our life force to is in line with what we're here for unless we're really living that there seems to be something missing there seems to be an experience of ah, oh, something is missing where is it? I'm just waiting for one experience to come and give me that thing that's missing and when we get on this so-called spiritual trip we come to realize that no experience will give us that lasting fulfillment and we get asked to turn back to the fulfillment of what we are but then that requires, that calls from us it's not just the recognition of what I am as a being okay now job done now what? that's not like the end, that's the beginning 
And then what life calls from us is to bring that knowing, bring that beingness, bring that into even into our thoughts, our thought processes, even into our every moment we're being called and every moment that we're not bringing that knowing, that beingness into it, it hurts. It hurts not only your body-mind but it hurts the whole planet and that's the pain we're feeling. We're feeling it. We're feeling the suffering of the human race and it's something we cannot cut off from. We can go practice yoga or meditation all day but I tell you the whole humanity is happening in your consciousness. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to escape but to awaken in the midst of all that and bring the deepest truth of your heart into your lived experience. So that's what these meetings are about, that's what my life is in service for to and in that, that doesn't mean that I live in a place where life doesn't turn me upside down and kill me again and again and again because it does. It takes me ever deeper and that is what happens in an awakened one. So if that is what is happening in you, it is through your own calling, through your own calling to really be what you are, you're being undone. And that means that a lot needs to get emptied out. A lot that you don't need needs to arise and be experienced in this truth for it to empty out. That more space is here for you to move in. So the invitation in these meetings is is um, to meet truly in this direct recognition, not to practice and practice and practice to become what you already are, but to directly recognize what you are as a being and to invite whatever kind of questions or apparent um, unraveling is going on in your system to like bring it that we can look through it together or simply to confirm what you're already knowing and give yourself to that because it can work in the other way you know this identity it can work in the other way of of <laughs> making ourselves small making ourselves this old habit of um, not enoughness making ourselves small and don't dare, don't dare to walk as godliness. I like that word, it doesn't mean there's a guy in the sky, you know that. And it's got nothing to do with the, the statues. It's that essence of your own being, to walk as that, to bring that into everything. So feel welcome. If there are any questions so far. I just feel like this really deep sadness when I hear these things. It's like blocking on my throat. Mm. Like what is your name? Leonie. Leonie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Where are you from? Germany. Uh -huh. um, and when you hear this, is this the first time for you to be hearing this message? No. Oh. And when you hear this, does it feel like... Um, like it's true for you? Do you recognize that 
that something is being tasted, something is being recognized? Yeah, somehow, like, I don't know if it's really, like, understanding here. No, it's, it's like not for this. This cannot understand it. <laughs> it's, your, it's your being. Yeah. And what that can bring is fear in this separate sense of self. Fear. Because, fuck, you know, <laughs> you will have to die. So it can bring about fear, but at the same time, you cannot settle for less. Mm. You are here uh, learning yoga and meditation and things like that? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> You're already being called home, you know? <laughs> And it's like not only like this like sadness, but it's a feeling of being really touched, but in a like kind of painful way. Yeah, like yeah. You can just allow those those subtle sensations to move through your body without landing a reason for them. Just like let that be felt moving through, because what you're feeling, what I perceive that you're feeling is reality and that shatters the whole um, identity that belongs to separation it shattered there's a shattering in that and the pain of humanity is felt you just let it move through like a wave this deep sadness can also be like, I remember, I recall right now as I look at you, in those first moments when I realized this truth, that I couldn't stop the tears. I could not stop the tears, you know? <laughs> These tears went for hours and hours and hours. It was just like, oh my God, you know, without, and flashes of lots of reasons, but it was just like an emptying out of, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it's sticking here. Yeah, just 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 allow that to be met in your presence. There's nothing to change with it. It's just bring your whole presence inside of it. Inside of it. Inside your experience be really the presence that really inhabits your experience. This is the two principles, stillness and movement, masculine and feminine. And this is where lovemaking happens. Mm. Mm. So, maybe you can notice just in that movement how that moved all the energy, like some wanted to move into different... Uh, can you perceive that? Yeah? Yeah? So it's just like being aware of that movement, of how suddenly the whole like the, the separate sense of self wants to like <laughs> and <laughs> that's all happening in this this awareness that is usually in every day that we're living in this humanness the, the meeting of the one awareness is not usually the the constant experience it's usually that we all meet in this separateness and tell all the story of who we are according to a bunch of memories and experience. But here in satsang we meet in this one presence of awareness and we include that. So the dominance of our meeting is this one aware, spacious presence of being that holds it all. It holds it all. And when we are aware of awareness holding it all, 
doesn't matter what arises, it passes through. It passes through. And the habit is that we overlook this, this um, constant ground of awareness. We overlook and we get taken by experience. And we live in this horizontal experience, experience to experience to experience to experience to experience, instead of this vertical which is always, no matter about the experience, this stillness, no matter about the movement, this So our being, of course, is both, and when we are awake as that, then every experience is welcome home to be met. And that's all that's longing for, that's all that the whole of human condition, it hasn't been met in presence, it hasn't been welcomed, it's been pushed away, resisted, fought, struggled with, tried to fix, tried to change, tried to therapize. It's never been met and it's asking for your presence. So, um, you're welcome. <laughs>